This and construction is not correct. You need to understand the meaning. The meaning is not on the lines that the preceding part and the later part are two parallel independent actions. One depends on the other. In fact, one is the result of the other. Such personalities display such behavior and enjoy interacting with others and that they derive energy from such interactions is the result. So there is a direct cause effect relationship here. This and bit is not correct. So choice C should be eliminated. Where is supposed to refer to a place? It's not about a place here. They derive energy from such interactions. So answer choice A should be eliminated. Answer choice B changes the meaning. Whom is referring to people here? Others. Whereas the intended meaning is that such personalities derive energy from such interactions. So answer choice B alters the meaning and the answer choice is passive in construction from whom their energy is derived. See the entire sentence is in active voice. Suddenly this is in passive voice. That's a clear demerit. Meaning-wise, choices D and E convey the intended meaning that these personalities display such behavior and enjoy interacting with others and as a result derive energy from those interactions. And you see, answer choice E conveys this cause-effect relationship through a comma plus present participle construction. Remember, introduction of a present participle that is a verb plus ing form after a comma leads to a cause-effect relationship. So answer choice E is doing it concisely through simply this comma plus present participle construction whereas answer choice D is taking so many extra words and as a result. So although answer choice D conveys the intended meaning and grammatically it is alright, it is a lot inferior in terms of its brevity and diction. So choice D should be eliminated. E is the best answer choice.